Hello everyone, welcome to Lawrence Plays, where we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint, and as you can tell by the fact that I'm in an obnoxiously pink car, and all of the rest of the other cars around me are also an obnoxious pink colour, we're playing in rainbow mode. And that's the mode where the uh, all the cars appear, when they spawn in, they'll appear in the colour of the closest player to them. So I tend to be surrounded by pink cars, Tristan will be surrounded by purple cars, Mike will be surrounded by orange cars, and so on and so on. So they can use this to the, the hunters can use this to their advantage by uh, by driving around the city looking for pink cars. And when they see some pink cars, they know that I'm probably somewhere in the vicinity. I can use it to my advantage to an extent by watching out for cars in other colours. And if I see cars in other colours, then I know there's a hunter nearby. Um, so there's yeah, I, we, the, it's it's an advantage. It, it's it's a way for them to find me, to, for them to work out which part of the city to look in. Um, and then if they're lucky, they'll be able to hunt me down and um, and try and kill me. So this, as, is, as is always the case in Manhunt Checkpoint, we have a series of checkpoints around the city. There's going to be five of them in total. If I manage to take all five checkpoints, then I win the game. If the hunters manage to kill me, then they win the game. It's nice and simple like that. Oh, I see blue cars over there. That means Max is somewhere over in that direction. So I think I'm going to go this way, especially as I saw a car fly across that junction going from left to right at quite high speed. So I think if I get away, if I go this way, what's going on there? That is a green, that's some green cars doing shenanigans. So, that, so now Pete is going to have seen some, um, some pink cars. He's going to get suspicious of this general area. However, if I now follow this green car here until we find a red light, then I can switch into a green car, hopefully. around no no hunters good i can get out of that one i can switch into this green car and now pete won't be suspicious of me if he sees me the rest of them now there is the problem with this tactic is there is a chance if, if i if i end up miles away from pete just because he hasn't found me he's gone off in a different direction if mike sees an orange if mike sees a green car and a load of pink cars and pete says oh i'm i'm i'm, I'm off in ghetto then Mike is going to get very, very suspicious of the of the single lone green car. But if Pete's around, then that gives me quite a nice alibi. It, it gives me it gives me cover anyway. So Tristan's going to see a green. Ca That's probably Tristan. He's going to see a green car drive past. Oh, actually, maybe that wasn't Tristan. But okay, here we go. So this is this is what I'm talking about. That there's an orange car there, so Mike is somewhere around. There's a purple car there, so Tristan is somewhere around. Um, but there's no other green cars. So if they see one green car and some pink cars, and cars in their colour, of course, then um, then they'll get very, very suspicious. Oh, um, Pete has killed Mike. That's what we like to see. And so has been taken out in automatic retribution. Um, yes, Emu Bob, I'm sorry. I, I uh, forgot to update Twitch to say what game we're actually playing tonight. Um, but then, to be fair, there isn't there isn't really a, an option for um, GTA Manhunt in, um, it, it on Twitch. I could, I could choose... Um, GTA 5, but we're not really playing GTA 5. It's not quite that game. So, uh, yeah, it's... It, it, I'll try and remember to update it after we finish this run. I forgot after the last run, um, even though I'd been told. Sorry about that. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy this, because this, this, sh this should be good fun, and it's, it's a lot more action-packed than Dyson Sphere Program. Now, hopefully... Um, as I was saying, me being in a green car is a little bit suspicious. But hopefully somebody else is going to be spotting pink vehicles around here. And they're going to tell everyone there's pink vehicles in North Vinewood. And so everybody else, including Pete, who is the person who spawns in the green cars, is going to flood up this way and make it a bit... and give me some cover. That's not necessarily going to be the case, but we, we, can, we can hope. So here is a checkpoint. I have to stop in the checkpoint, I have to take the checkpoint, and then I have to go. Um, and then I have to try and try and avoid the uh, the hunters for a moment or two. So I've now got a 30 second cooldown before I'm told where the next checkpoint is. So I'm going to just going to go a little bit further up the hills and hide a bit. I'm not going to go properly into the into the actual hills hills, but I am going to go a bit up a bit further off to the edge of the city. Because one of the sneaky sneaky tactics you can do in this game mode is if you drive around the edge of the city, then there's going to be fewer hunters in that area um, because they tend to stick to the middle, and you're going to be less obvious. It's going to be harder to spot you. <laughs> that, um... Oh, I forget what those cars are called. Um, but it's got, it's got a massive blower intercool... Uh, t t uh, supercharger on the front of it, which looks ridiculous. Um, no, Manhunt is not part of the standard game. We're using a, um... 
we're using a, a a modding system i think is the best term for it called 5m which allows you to which is essentially it's a framework that allows you to put mods into uh, into gta 5 and then one of our group has then written the actual manhunt mod itself um so this is all it's all sort of custom it's custom code that works through 5m in gta 5 and allows us to do our own stuff with the game without needing to have uh, so yeah it's not it's not an actual official gta 5 uh, game mode i'm afraid um, there are a few. If, we are generally interested in having new players come along and join us, though. So if you if you if you play GTA Five and fancy joining in, uh, come along, join the Discord, and um, and 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 ask a, ask a, and just ask around, and we can probably bring you in, and you can and you can join in with us. You will need to have GTA Five for PC. You'll need to have Five M installed, but that's fairly quick. Um, and then it's just a case of being whitelisted and joining our server, and you can come in and uh, and join in the fun. Okay, so I'm trying to get to Mirror Park at the moment. There's only pink cars around, and this is quite good because Mirror Park is a bit it's a bit out of the way. And I was I was saying in one of the earlier runs this evening that Mirror Park is normally quite a difficult checkpoint to take because when you start to head towards it, it's really, really obvious where you're going. But because we're in rainbow mode, that means I can sneak out over this way, and because I'm way out on the edge, unless one of the other hunt unless one of the hunters happens to be out Mirror Park way, they're not gonna know where I'm gone. So I can sneak out this way, and suddenly, basically, the the what's normally the hardest checkpoints actually become the easiest checkpoints, and that's quite interesting. And I hadn't really thought about it from quite that point of view before. I had thought that oh no, there's Max. Okay, he's gone straight past. That's good. I'm going to get out of here though, and the lights have gone green just after I started moving. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Max, if you if Max was being a bit more switched on there, he would have thought, okay, I'm seeing lots, I'm seeing pink cars. So Lawrence is around somewhere. There's one lone green car. That must be Lawrence. But fortunately for me, it seems like he didn't twig that this. He didn't twig there was one car in a, in a different colour for all the rest. So I've managed to get away with it, which is nice. So I'm just going to carry on down the uh, down the eastern side of the city, down through industrial. Um, this is again following the let's stay on the edge of the play area strategy, um, because this is going to keep me quite a lot safer I think because just generally it's 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 an area where there's less likely to be hunters so therefore they're less likely to see the um, see, see my car I would expect um, based on just sort of gut feeling that the hunters are probably going to mostly be in in sort of the vinewood downtown ghetto area they're not going to be quite as much in the um, in the industrial they're probably not going to be in the hills probably not around the airport so this sort of area is a bit safer to get to and play around in Beach. How am I going to get to beach? I think... Yes, I think I know I'm going to do this. Right, if I carry on this way, uh, this is going to be quite a long drive, so I I, I, um, I beg your, um, your, your patience and forgiveness for this. But if I carry on following this road, I can get onto the massive bridge that goes over to the airport, and then I can stick with the highway from there, and follow it all the way around and up into... basically into downtown. Grab a left from... Hang on, actually, no, better idea. No, get the bridge over towards airport, then drive up past heliport, and, um, yeah, I'm just going to overtake this car in a blatantly illegal way, but never mind. Uh, yeah, but up past heliport, and then sneak along the edge of there to get to the beach. Yes, that, that's going to work quite well. So I'm basically going to go all the way around the edge of the map, which is a little bit cheeky, but it's also a little bit sneaky. So I think it's probably, I think I'm okay with that. I'm also not going to hang around. I'm going to I'm going to drive a bit quicker than I would if I was just trying to blend in with traffic. So uh, yeah, I think at the moment I should be fairly safe. I think I'm going to be pretty safe until I get to the other side of this bridge. Once I get to the other side of the bridge, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a welcome. Well, not a welcoming committee because that would imply that they know that I'm there. Was that car purple or pink? I couldn't tell. Um, that would imply that they know and are waiting for me. But no, I, I would expect there to be some hunters in that sort of general area. So I think at that point, I might start to get things might start to get a little bit hairy. That said, ooh, alternatively, I could be really sneaky about this. I have a cunning, cunning plan. <laughs> this is a plan that wouldn't work in the normal, um, in the normal circle or blip modes, um, but in in um, Ujimo, what's it? In, um, in 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 rainbow mode. If I can get, if I can drive down the road towards the airport, drop into the water there, swim across, and climb out, basically that basically brings me out at the checkpoint. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Let's 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 do that. And they're probably not going to be expecting it. 
Now, the, the the only downside of this plan is that there aren't. It's not. It's, it's difficult to get off the highway from the bridge. As you can see, there's there's concrete barriers all the way along here. So it's diff I can't get off. What I'd like to do is drop off to the left here, just drop down there onto the roads below. But that's not a thing that can be done. It's just. You, you can't get off this bridge. It's got massive um, barriers and fences and things to stop people committing suicide or something. Um, however, uh, hmm. I'm seeing orange vehicles. That's a concern. Let's let's try something. This is either going to go really well or really really badly, and I'm not sure. It might also it might depend on whether I ooh die falling all the way down there. That's a long way down. Let's try here instead. That jump. I think I can survive this fall. Ooh, just about. Ow, that didn't look fun. Right, anyway, I'm, I didn't lose any health from that, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, no cars in the car park. Okay, but there's a road just over here. So I'm quite close to where I wanted to drop into the water, but I think it's still going to be quicker to claim a car. Hello? It's kind of spooky. There's no vehicles around. Why? Oh, here comes something. All right, we'll take that. Car, please. Insert obvious quote from Terminator here. Uh, yeah, so I'll take I'll take this um, this this whatever this what is this this is a it was a Rancher XL. Look, okay, it will take that. And if I come out of here, turn turn right at the end of here like this, then to then yes, yeah, so this is taking me towards the uh, the 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 uh, pay and spray. Uh, what are they called in this game? Uh, Los Santos Customs. So if I come off the road here, can I get through this way? I think I can. Punch through this fence like that. And then drop down here. I've basically only stole this vehicle because it's quicker than walking. Come, through, come over here. Right. Now, I can swim. If I can remember how to swim, and I think I can. Oops. Swim around my own car. Right. I can sh nip, nip across here like this. Uh, not like that. <laughs> I normally only drop into the water here when there's um, when I've been spotted by the hunters and I'm desperately trying to get away because they've got much better cars than me. Oh, I could have climbed out there. I didn't realise. Oh, well, never mind. Um... So yeah, I can come out here, and then the beach checkpoint is just over there. You can just about make out the, uh, the red glow directly ahead of me now. Uh, so if I come over this way, then I can nip up there and grab that from a very, very sneaky direction. And because we're not playing with a mode that gives the hunters a clue as to where I am, I think this is going to be really effective. And I th there's also there's a car park just around the other side of this building, so I'll be able to grab a vehicle there and, um, and start moving a bit quicker. The only problem is it's car park, so they're all going to be parked. Which ooh, I want that, I want that. In, uh, the, the, no, uh, the, not going to catch it. All right, we'll take the Dukes instead. Unfortunately, this is going to unlock muscle cars for the hunters, but can't be helped. Uh, they're going to get a, a new. They're probably going to end up with a new um, tier of cars at some point anyway. But so yeah, never mind. Right. Okay, head out this way. drive vaguely around the pedestrians because I probably should. Right, okay, now we're, we're back on the road now, so we're surrounded by pink cars, but I'm in a pink car again, which is a bit of a shame, but I mean, I, then I didn't have a lot of choice about that, so I think pink pink is okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine with that. Oh, and I've unlocked sports cars as well, I forgot about that, I was using the, um, the Fusilade earlier, so yeah, maybe I should just switch to another sports car at some point, but eh, never mind. Right, so here is the checkpoint. Take checkpoint, drive away. Oh, tugboat. <laughs> so yeah, one of the checkpoint effects is that a tugboat spawns in. And that's one of the comedy ones, because it's basically it's ridiculous. Uh, a giant tugboat appearing is... Well, why? Um, <laughs> but I think it's funny, so it's, so it's stayed in. Alright, now once again, I'm cruising around the city, looking, for, waiting to be told where the next checkpoint is going to be. I am still kind of close to the edge of the city, which is a good thing, because it makes me, again, makes me fairly hard to find. But no doubt the next checkpoint is going to be, I don't know, a shopping centre jump or something. Ooh, docks entrance. I've just come from there. Oh, for goodness sake. You know, in this spirit of unlocking basically all of the car classes for the hunter. Whoa, that was a sudden mic. I was not expecting there to be a mic there. Get in the car. Duck, 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 duck. He's going to get my tyres as well, which is a problem. Oh, why did I not look round before I changed cars? That, yep, yeah, he's got a tyre. I'm potentially in trouble um, because I've lost a tyre. And when you lose tyres, your car becomes very, very hard to drive. So let's... And very, very slidey, and it goes all over the place. But my hope is, if I come along here, hug the wall along here so that Mike can't see where I've gone, and then... That's an Ed-coloured car, but I'm taking it anyway. That's, sorry, it's an Ed-coloured car, which implies Ed is in the area. 
but I don't care. I need I need a different car because mine has lost tyres. That's is that actually Pete or is it just a Pete colour car driving badly? It's just a Pete colour car driving badly. Okay, right. So I've got a 9F now. 9Fs are quick. They're very very quick cars, but they tend to be rather slidey and difficult to handle. So, and mine's it's picked up a little bit of a scuff, but it's not too bad. Okay, so this is now. Um, I think I've got away from Mike, and that was that was entirely my own fault. I shouldn't have. Um, I shouldn't have pulled out like that in front of it. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have changed cars like that right in front of him. That was that was dangerous and foolish. Uh, that's Max. I think Max might have spotted me then. Yes, he's coming back this way. I don't think he's coming to say hi. I was not driving particularly uh, particularly carefully, should we say? Oh, for goodness' sake! You'd think I'd have learnt by now that to to drive slightly more carefully and sensibly, wouldn't you? But no. Fortunately, I'm in a yellow. I'm in a 9F, and as I said, 9Fs quick, quick cars. So I can probably use that blinding speed to just get away. Take another couple of uh, corners like this, Woo! like that, and then come a cropper like this. Can I hide in this corner? Probably not. Turn the lights off. Is that a hunter? Yes, I said. Oh dear. Ed is on a motorbike. Now, a motorbike is, is one of the few classes I haven't unlocked yet, so I could blow him up. Um, and I feel like I probably should, just because it seems... Well, he's there, and he's following me. He's going to be telling... There's Tristan going the other way. Uh, I, ooh, I'm not good with the 9F. <laughs> it's so slidey. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, let's... Let's have a punishment for Ed like that. Um, <laughs> boom. Right, good. There's nobody behind me now, I'm pretty sure. So, again, blinding speed. Get out of Dodge. Um, and into Audi, by the looks of it. Um, and then somewhere over here, I will change car again. And it needs to be another sports car now, because they definitely know that I'm, I'm using sports cars. Problem is, there doesn't seem to be much spawning. What are you? You're a sports car. That'll do. It's better than the one... I it's, it's less identifiable than the one I'm in. Except it's going to have a broken window, like that. Um, I, but I don't think that... I don't know. I don't think broken windows usually get me caught. Come on. Good car going. Right, there we go. Okay, right. Let's see. Dock's entrance then. I think the best way to... A way to do that is head down into Ghetto. Then turn left. Maybe all the way through Ghetto, actually. I could come in from Elysian Island. That would be a good way, because nobody would expect that. Yeah, let's do that. Um... I'm just going to carry on running red lights. I shouldn't be doing this now. I should be trying to. I should be trying to blend in because this is what gets me caught. I go, okay, I'm probably okay now, and I probably got away from the hunters. I say, and I start driving badly, and then things go horribly, horribly wrong. So, also hooning across the city and then grabbing a checkpoint is a little bit, not cheaty, but a little bit. It's a bit mean. The only downside of this route, in fact this whole system here, is that sports cars look a bit out of place in the ghetto and in industrial. You don't tend to get very many of them spawning in those areas. So, I might be a little bit obvious. I should have looked behind before I did that. I looked behind afterwards instead, which is not as good. So, how do you, well, where's the way onto Elysian Island? I need to turn left somewhere. There's a lot of abandoned hunter cars around. So that that one there, for example, clearly Mike changed vehicles at this point. He jumped, jumped, jumped out of one orange car, got in another one. There is Pete behind me. I see. A, I saw a green headlight, but it's gone. He went a different way, so that's good. Okay, so I need to get off across the bottom. Oh, this is Grove, Grove Street. I'm going to need to turn. I'm going to need to get off this because this is a dead end, as you can see by the mini map. So I'm going to need to do a left turn. Here. Yeah, oh, there's green cars appearing. Maybe I should take one of them. Or orange, orange better. Yeah, let's let's take orange. I've not used orange. I've not driven an orange yet. So this tells me that Mike is in the area, and also actually I saw a green car just now as well. Pete is, so Pete is also in the area. So the hunters are are around. Okay, good. The alarm stopped finally. Um, the hunters are around, but hopefully if I'm in an orange car. That'll give me a little bit of a plausible deniability. Oh, not if I'm going down this road, because this is an alleyway. Oh, I forgot I forgot that was where this went. I'll just try and get out the end of it quickly, and then go off this way. There we go. I heard squealing tyres that I didn't think were me, but no, it looks like I'm okay. Right, turn on red. 
And then, okay, so the, the, my, let's go back to plan, I don't know, N minus 1, wherever I got to. So I think if I head over this way, where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm here. Okay, yes. Yeah. So if I go up to the end of this road and turn right, then I can cross over the bridge onto Elysian Island. Ooh, there's Max. So the hunters have underglow on their cars as well, as well as the brightly coloured headlights and the coloured vehicles. And so that's going to be, hopefully, be enough to make them stand out. Oh, there's, and there's Ed. So they are, the hunters are in this area. Unfortunately, there don't seem to be very many orange cars around at the moment. So um, maybe that means uh, Mike is not in this area. So this is, this is the problem I was talking about earlier. If I, if, I drive a, um, if I drive a pink car, if the hunters surround me, then I'm the only pink car and it's suspicious. And also seeing pink cars gets them suspicious. If I drive a hunter coloured car, then sure, if that hunter's around, then I blend in with all the cars they're causing to spawn in. But, oh, there's Mike. That's convenient. Um, okay, so in this case now, there's going to there's expected to be orange cars around. So me being in this orange car, not suspicious. Good. Also, he's driven off, so and there don't seem to be many pink cars around. So that's probably a good thing. Oh, he's coming back again though. At speed. There's a pink car behind, behind me. That's a worry. He looks suspicious of me, but it could just be that his face always looks like that. Now, when he gets out of his car like that, I pretty much have to start driving because he's going to start. He's going to start shooting, and if, but if I drive away, then I've got a good chance of getting away before anything unfortunate happens to me. So, I've not gone the way I was intending to go. I booted it off into the into the distance. And there's actually a different checkpoint up here, but never mind. It's as good a way to go as any. Um, there is not a checkpoint here right now. The other checkpoint is not here right now, so I can't take it. But yeah, if I boot it like this, I can get out of the uh, out of the dodgy area. Uh, of course, I'm now, I'm now basically on my own, so there's only pink cars around. Uh, the checkpoint I was going after is actually not very far away. There it is. You can see it. You can see the glow on the horizon. So if I do a little bit of off-road sneakery like this, oop, bump. Then there is bump again. There is a way through down here, and there's no way that Mike has kept up with me because he got out of his car. So it's that thing again where the hunt. If the hunters get out of their cars, then I can lose them fairly easily. I saw a blue car. I don't like that. Paranoid. Very very paranoid. Um, so Max is somewhere in this area, probably because Mike told him that I fled in this general direction. So he's come over here to look. I don't know whether they think I'm going for that checkpoint, or whether they're just watching this sort of general area. But yeah, there's rather more um, blue cars around than I would like. I should probably change this car. Ooh, probably for that blue one there. Yes, let's do that. Once again, yet another fusillade with a broken window. <clears throat> I'm breaking a lot of fusillades at the moment. But if I take this car... Ed is around as well, because now we're seeing yellow cars too. And oh, purple car... Purple, orange cars are starting to appear as well. This is, they're all in this area, clearly. If that alarm could stop, that'd be very, very nice. Because that's going to get the hunters suspicious. Right, thank you. Okay, so I'm... Green light. Okay, let's go. Let's... Stop in the checkpoint. Take the checkpoint. That was what? Number two? I think that was only number two. Why has my car gone back to pink? That's very strange. Oh, it's the... Um, one of the checkpoint effects is that all the cars get coloured blue. But in in, um, in rainbow mode, if a car gets coloured in a non-hunter colour, it immediately gets coloured the colour of the nearest hunter. So, <laughs> because my car got made blue by the checkpoint effect, it then got made pink by, by rainbow mode. So... Yeah, I no longer have a nice blue uh, fusillade. However, I do have a fusillade, so I've got a chance of. Um, well, I say I've got a chance of getting away. I've got uh, that the uh, the hunters are also following me. Well, Mike is following me in not a fusillade, the other one. Um, Schwartz? No, it's not Schwartz. Uh, what is it? It begins it also begins with F. Um, I can't remember. It's the one that's basically the one that's a Chrysler Crossfire anyway. Um, 
so yeah he's he, which is a similarly quick kite it's the same it's the same class as this car they're both sports cars so he's going to have a similar turn of speed to me um, a similar level of handling they're both pretty good cars so it's just going to come down to whether i can basically i'm going fast and across the map like this and attempt to get away from all of the other hunters um i don't expect this to lose lose mike for me but once i've done that which i have now i can then start taking corners and things oh i saw a purple car there does that mean tristan's around or is that just one he abandoned earlier i don't know that's not a road can't go there this is a road can go here so take this one and this one now hopefully mike has not followed me through that sh sh shenaniganry and if i go over here and then through the tunnel then i can drop onto the highway and that will allow me to get to airport loop exit yes i guess it will um so again it's a bit of a drive from here but selavy um a drive is kind of why we play these games they are driving games after all right um where am i on the highway oh god am i going the right way no i'm not okay oh actually there wasn't a right way to go there because i was right under the uh the junction that i wanted to come onto. so if i pull across the road here and take the exit like this uh this highway takes me down southbound towards the airport and i'm pretty sure i'm not being chased now which is why i've slowed down to sort of there we go highway speeds <laughs> so i think i can take this all the way to the airport and then grab the airport loop exit so airport loop exit is another one of those that normally oh no i hadn't lost mike i thought i had it turns out i'd not okay um hi Right, okay, um, I, th I, was say, I thought I'd lost Mike, it turns out I had not lost him. Oh, that's a bollard. I, would, I had a massive burst of suddenly laggy Pete. Um, I had a massive burst of indecision. I was sort of, oh, thank you Tristan, thank you for taking Ed out like that, that was much appreciated. Um, my plan was to, um, uh, was to was to go into the car park, then I got rammed and my plan was to not go into the car park, but I sort of got confused somewhere between the two and ended up going into the wall instead. Uh, the wall was not where I intended to go in any of the plans. That was just an unfortunate side effect. Okay, I'm once again in trying to flee mode. The hunters are in tripping over each other mode, and that's appreciated. I like it when the hunters are tripping over each other, um, because it means they're going to have trouble following me. Um, okay, so once again, um, we are in a chase, and there is Max in the blue car. Um, Max tends to be one of the most dangerous of the hunters because he's probably he, he's played so much GTA he knows the city much better than anyone else um, and I think probably a, well, he's certainly a better driver than me uh, whether he's the best driver out of the hunters I wouldn't like to say but I, I suspect it's probably true um, so yes he's going to be the tricky one to get rid of however we're all in sports cars so it's an even match um, but sports cars tend to be a bit more um, of a whoa Oh, bloody hell. If I hadn't hit the wall there, that would have been a really smooth thing. Uh, so, yeah, what I was... <clears throat> Let's do this. All right. Well, that's got rid of him. Where's he gone? Have I gone to the same place? I don't know. I want to go this way. <laughs> it's in a way, anyway. That, that jump, I like that jump because it has a certain amount of chaos in it. When you hit that jump, Depending on what speed you go at, there are about three different places you can land on, and they go off in completely different directions. So, if you manage to get on a different one from a hunter, that hunter has no hope of sticking with you. Well, very little hope of sticking with you. So, I can now just boot it, get out of here, and start trying to do, start trying to get back to the airport again somehow, some way, some way. And I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. But firstly, I just want to get out of here and find a new car, find a new um, alibi, <laughs> um, and have a moment to sort of to calm down and collect my collect my plans so yeah i think down here is probably going to be a good start uh we could take a police car police cars i don't know they're not no they're not such a great idea i mean they are basically sports cars so but they're really really obvious when they're in pink or in british they're, they're, they, they, they look weird in other colors um problem is there aren't going to be any sports cars down this way um, because this is the industrial area and, and sports cars tend not to spawn down here so this could be tricky um, I don't want to switch into a worse car because if I do then when we get into a chase which is fairly likely let's be honest here I could be in trouble um, 
All right, let's go up this. Yeah, let's go around this way. If I see a sports car, I'm going to take it. But if, if I if I don't, I could take the muscle truck. The muscle truck isn't a bad vehicle, but when everyone else is driving sports cars, it's going to be a bit outclassed. But I think I need a different vehicle, so I'm going to take that. And also, ooh, here's a cunning plan. I have a cunning. I have a cunning plan. Right, you're going to love. You're going to love this. So follow this round here. Hopefully the hunters are nowhere near. I sincerely hope the hunters are nowhere nearby. So if I come along here and drop down the jump here, this is going to be a really, really nice way of getting to the airport when we make the checkpoint. Like that. It's kind of stick out if, if anyone sees me do that, because believe it or not, AIs don't tend to do that. Um, along here, I'm now practically on top of the checkpoint. The checkpoint's just down here. Now, I might well be far enough away from the hunters that I can just grab that and... It will be done. Will be done in the thirty. Once the thirty second countdown is, is done. But if not, <clears throat> that's a pink car. Good. I thought it was a blue car for a moment there, but it was just it just looked weird through the um, through the checkpoint thing. Right. Checkpoint. Go 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 go. So my cunning plan is if I drive down here instead of trying to get away in the, the obvious way, so sort of up towards the um, in, into the city and try and get through the city. If I go this way, I can hit this jump like that into the airport. And you know what the best way of getting away when you're in an airport is? Yes, it's to find a plane and steal the plane. Um, there's one. Now I don't know if I'm actually going to get managed. I'm going to have. Oh no, there we go. They've all blown up before I even got a chance to steal the plane. So I'll just escape up the top of these steps instead. But yes, my plan was nick that plane, fly and fly out from away from the city that way. And that would have been quite a nice way to finish off. But never mind. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the run, and I'll see you next time. Kind of play a car here. Definitely play a car. It's green with no underglow. I mean, it can't be Pete. Because Pete would have his underglow set me. Huh. Yeah. Where? <laughs> I died then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Huh? Max and I have the same idea. Yeah, I saw someone in the building. So where are the pink cars? Uh, lost. Oh, I don't know, lost needs to go. I, I last seen them south of Square Squares in the parking lot. <laughs>
Uh, just north of the, uh, 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 hang on, guns. Ah, I see a tugboat. Where I am. Yep, yeah, okay, you're a little bit away from me, but yes. Oh. Heading southwest. What car? Might have got a tire, might not. Uh, pink sedan? Heading you won't do what's a tire then. Onto the highway, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> North or east? North. Uh, Thank you. I'm going to guess at a hard 180 because that is the thing. Uh, tunnel off, tunnel off, tunnel off, tunnel off. I'm going to go tunnel. I'm in the tunnel towards the other end. I don't see any pink. Abandoned, abandoned pink car and tunnel. Uh, stay on both sides, shoot everything that passes. There's an abandoned pink car in the tunnel, so he's gonna change. Uh, I've got a muscle taken off. Possibly at speed, I can't really tell on the highway, it's quite hard. Uh, east. Sure, no, it looks it's, like him. it's not. It's not. Well, don't see any pink cars yet. Yeah, I haven't seen a single pink car despite the pink car being abandoned in the tunnel. There's a pink car. Pink 4x4. Zion, coupés. Coupés are unlocked. Hold on. Uh, pink's at golf. Pink's, uh, yellow, uh, what, Audi? Yellow Audi uh, at golf, driving like maniac. Heading? Is he heading? Uh, it's not me! It's south at movie theater. Oh my god! Uh, Binko South, uh, our ammunition for our friends yep, on yep, the yep, other yep, channel. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, he's gonna blow me up any minute now. He's going to multicolor. He's going to multicolor. He's gonna blow I'm me up. Multicolor South! <laughs> Hi, Tristan. Hello. Sorry, did pink I car you? behind you, Tristan. Two pink car. I have a single pink car here. There's many pink cars on this road, Tristan. We're in the deep yeah. ghetto near Franklin's. I haven't seen any. I'm going to take two slaves. Happy. <laughs> Tire. Oh, gang attack, which I was trying to steal to get. Where? Uh, heading towards Doc's entrance. I'm currently dealing with a gang attack. Uh, yeah, he, I was, yeah, gonna change out my fuselage for a fresh fuselage, and it turned out he was in the fresh fuselage. Mm hmm. Check. Pink car, yeah, pink car's industrial by Doc's. Kind of thing. Uh, found him. He's just taken the docks. He stopped right in front. It's a pink fuselage. Um, Keep on him. We, we can't lose him now. It's the last checkpoint. North from docks checkpoint. On the wrong side of the road. Heading north. Still heading north. Uh, turn left there, Ed. Over the bridge into ghetto. Still heading over a bridge. Still heading over a bridge. Bearing right. Heading through main road into ghetto. Crossing rails cross. Heading straight. Up tram line. Bearing northwest into ghetto. Turning left uh, at Mega Mall. Bearing uh, west by southwest towards Arena. Turning right at Arena and then going on to Spaghetti Junction, turning right, keeping hard right 
onto highway? The thing that goes towards heliport. Road towards heliport. Approaching heliport. Uh, still approaching heliport. Keeping uh, left. Passing okay. heliport. Heading northwest. Turning right at. Don't know what that is. Weasel News, maybe. That kind of area. Heading up towards Art Gallery. Temporary loss regain. Still heading north towards Art Gallery. Left turn um, towards. Not sure. Turn right. Um, heading north ish. Temporary loss. Towards five ways? Temporary loss. What's the car? Pink Fuselade. Um, Pink Fuselade. No eyes. Checking Tunnel Under Art Gallery. Tunnel Under Art Gallery regained. Turn left at end onto highway. Temporary loss. He's on highway, probable east. Not sure. I'm checking east. Yes, east. Coming off. Uh, hard 180. To come off. Uh, and. Uh, yes, on the, the T junction there. there. He's not taking the jump. Stand by. Yes, not taking jump. Assuming this is him. Heading south. South man, then. Yep. Maneuver, it is a. He's at the art gallery jump drop down thing. Yeah, hi guys! Wee. Control uh, yourself! Pale top, didn't get gender, he's taking the jump down. Uh -huh. He's double back, I'm done. Double back. Um, he's underneath the. He's the. Uh, he's top of red car right now. Stuck on a lamppost. I blame you, Pete. I don't have weapons, shit, I got out of my car. Sorry. Ah, He's taking the jump down onto the low way, he's taking the road at speed. Proceeding south on low way. Ah, uh, spun. He's now come off road left. Uh, up the track. We're near Benny's, underneath the other highway. Uh, south side of the construction Who put side. Who that car there? West side of the blue construction side, the big one. Heading northbound. We're going left, we're gonna be at north side of... Uh, sorry, south side of Red Car Park again. Heading west. My car is so bad. Turn right toward, towards uh, Art Gallery. Continue north towards Five Ways. He's taking a right towards Mountain Hotspot. South side of um, uh, shopping center, oh. turning right. He's off on the highway. He's on the highway uh, towards his uh, funny jump thing he likes to do. Oh shit! Yeah, bait. He, he, he made it. Is he on or a He's on the ramp. He's on the other ramp above us, Max. I got tanked by somebody, and I I hit him onto that ramp. I saw you. <clears throat> we we I think we all lost him. Yeah, we lost him. He was heading south down the highway, and we all end up in various different bits. But he's the miracle of GTA physics got flipped. <laughs> onto a different highway ramp. Oh, that's hilarious! So when he wins this one, he can blame absolute fluke and hacks. I think I got quite lucky in that run because yes. there were quite a lot of um, there were quite a lot of checkpoints that were out on the edge of the map. So like Mirror Park uh. and Airport Loop and. Uh, Doc's entrance, those sort of ones which are a bit easier to get to. Uh, or at least in this mode, the difficult, easy and difficult checkpoints are swapped over because you're less likely to be hunting in those areas. Yeah, you took loads of checkpoints without us even hearing the explosion. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they were a bit, they were quite, they were a long way out. And so I think generally that's probably why.